my fellow Gears, what is going on y'all? Your dude Sly here and thanks for checking out one of my Gears of War 5 troubleshooting videos. Now there's nothing more annoying than waiting for a year to play the game to then download it at the stroke of midnight only for it to not launch and crash over and over and over again. There's also nothing more annoying than super long introductions on YouTube videos, so let's get to it right now. There are a few different error codes that can pop up if you're playing Gears of War 5 on PC. Again, this video is mostly for the GW502 error code, but it can also help with 501 and 503 as well. However, if you're trying to play this game on a very old, outdated, or graphically weak machine, you cannot bypass these error codes no matter how hard you try as your machine is just not within recommended specs. Your best bet is to hop on your Xbox and play it there via the Xbox Play Anywhere capability. Also, there's a link down below with all the error codes and what they mean, so if it's not listed here, check that and it might help you out. So with that out of the way guys, let's talk about this GW502 problem. Now I had this exact same issue with Metro Last Light as well. A lot of cheating or hacking scripts piggyback off of PC overlays, such as third party recording programs, chat overlays like Steam or Discord, sometimes even music playlists or music overlays can mess this stuff up. So because of that security issue, some games will have problems with overlays. Even if you do not physically have an overlay up at the time and running or even visible, the ability of a program to produce that overlay is enough to cause this GW502 error as well as a couple others. It senses that capability is there and it will instantly stop the game from loading. So this error mainly pops up on PCs running Nvidia graphics cards, or at least that's the word so far. If you're an AMD user and experiencing this as well, comment down below. So let's move on to this fix guys. First things first, make sure your graphics card drivers are up to date and current. Not only the driver, but the program itself, such as GeForce Experience or AMD Relive. That might fix the issue right away. Once you're sure your drivers are up to date, restart your computer and try it again. If that doesn't work, let's move on to the solution that worked for me. First, think of all of the programs that you have on your PC that can record gameplay or have the ability to project an overlay on top of your game. Overlays are things like frames per second counters that you see the top left hand side as you see here, or performance overlays, chat overlays, and specifically recording overlays, that's another big one. You want to disable your programs one by one and after each time try to open the game until you figure out which program or programs are causing the issue. The ones I've heard causing the most issues are Windows Game Bar and the one that caused my issue, MSI Afterburner, which is a GPU tool used for various things. Now some don't know this, but it can also record gameplay, and that is what's causing most of the issues. So to turn off Game Bar guys, simply go onto your settings within Windows, click on the Game Bar icon, and then switch it off. It is super easy. Try to load your game up. If it doesn't work, keep it off and then hit up your next program. Start shutting down all of your programs that have chat overlays, things like Steam, Origin, Uplay, GOG, Battle.net, Epic, etc. But if you are running MSI Afterburner, then that is the culprit for 99% of the time. So turn that off first before trying any of the other things I mentioned. If you're not running Afterburner, then start turning off all the other programs I just mentioned. If you can, turn off Shadowplay, then try that as well. However, Shadowplay and AMD's Relive are usually supported right off the bat for like 99% of the games that are playable on PC, so those usually are not the issue, however it doesn't hurt to try. If that doesn't work, restart your PC, do not open the game, and then turn off as many overlays as you can, and this time, turn off your antivirus, your ad blocker, or other security features that run in the background. If it's not MSI Afterburner, it's not any chat overlays, usually it's an antivirus or an ad blocker. And last but not least guys, if shutting down Afterburner, chat programs, and antivirus does not work, then the last thing you want to try to do is go into your GPU settings and set everything to default. Restart your PC and try again. Sometimes other games can take control of your machine's graphical settings you know, and save them that way. Every once in a while, they'll glitch out and set your GPU to resolutions you can't so really support, such as enabling super resolution to 4K when you really only have a 1080p monitor. This can cause other games to bug out when trying to open them. So like I said, put everything to default and for the last grasp at straws, update everything. Windows, drivers, etc. More than likely, simply restarting or shutting down the correct program, such as MSI Afterburner, will fix your issue, but sometimes it can be stubborn. If you're trying to record gameplay and you have to shut it down, once you finally get your game open, you want to Alt-Tab out of the game and then turn on Windows Game Bar, 
Shadow Play, or OBS. One of those should work, so see which one you can use. If it shuts down, just redo what you did to turn it back on, and then try again until you find that one program that'll work for you. But that is it guys, just a quick video showing you all what to do in case you get that frustrating error code GW500 whatever. It took me over an hour to find the problem when all I had to do was shut down one simple program. So hopefully this video saves you all a ton of time. Well, I'm out of here guys. Thank you for watching and I hope you get it up and running and you enjoy Gears of War 5 as it is pretty damn fun. Spank the thumbs up, but only if you enjoyed yourself and if these fixes worked, comment down below and let me know which program or programs were causing your issue. This will help others to get there quicker. Feel free to check me out on Twitter or Facebook at Sly Nation or Sly Nation Gaming on the FB. Take care y'all and have fun as the Coalition did an awesome job with this new round of gears. Keep those eyes open for more videos coming out here soon, but until then, this is your dude Sly and I'll catch you all next time.